let me put it in one single word chemistry is nothing but it's the study of matter chemistry is the study of matter for example if I am a chemist and if you give me any matter what would I like to do with that matter is the first thing I would like to study what is present in that matter means what are the composition of that matter okay this matter does it contain carbon or does it contain nitrogen or does it contain oxygen so I being a chemist the first thing what I'll do is I'll study the composition now after studying the composition the next thing what I would like to do being a chemist is people I would like to study their structure okay carbon present day, nitrogen present day, oxygen present day. how are they bonded to each other if they're bonded to each other then what is the structure so chemistry is nothing but it's a study of composition it is a study of structure and after studying the composition and the structure the third thing what I would like to study about that matter is I would like to study their properties now when I say properties any properties like uh, melting point boiling point density viscosity and all that stuff okay so chemistry is nothing but it's a study of composition it is a study of structure it is a study of properties and after studying all these three what is the last thing I would like to do is I would like to study their uses okay Joby matter a malum padiya now where can I use this matter can I use it in the pharmaceutical industry or can I use it in the metallurgical industry or should I use it in cosmetics and all that stuff okay so what is chemistry chemistry is nothing but it's a study of composition it is a study of structure it is a study of properties and finally the uses of matter matter is something matter is something which has mass and which occupies space that is what we define matter as okay people now the very simple question to you all is people the benches that you are sitting right now is that a matter you're thinking exactly if you go to see this bench does it contain any mass obviously does it occupy any space very obvious so it is obviously a matter okay now so if you go to see cars planes trains buses are they matter the answer is yes again pay attention am I a matter am I a matter exactly do I weigh something yes I definitely weigh 65 in kg well do I occupy any space I definitely occupy one square foot of this universe so I am obviously a matter okay people and this matter can exist in the form of a solid liquid and gas so please remember people it is very important to know what is matter and it is even more important to know the various physical states the matter is existing in in fact that is what we'll be doing in this chapter because the name of the chapter that I'm teaching you itself is called as states of matter so when I say these three are the fundamental states of matter means do I have any other states of matter the answer is yes we have also have the four states of matter and that four states of matter is what we call it as plasma and I'm sure you might be aware about this okay but do you know one more funny thing we also have the fifth states of matter and that fifth states of matter is what we call it as Bose Einstein condensate so till here everyone is aware about okay so totally we have five states of matter the funny thing is uh, we also have the six states of matter and that six states of matter is what we call it as fermionic condensate what do we call fermionic condensate okay so totally we have six states of matter in fact this is what is the chapter I was teaching in one of the branches okay now when I was teaching this when I was giving them this information one smart girl from the group got up and she said so you're talking about the six states of matter we already have the seven states of matter in fact she told me that the seven states of matter is quark condensate okay and again I was teaching in one more branch and there one more guy got up and he said sir seven states of matter is an old story he said there is also eight states of matter and he called that eight states of matter as thought wave I have to personally admit that I haven't read about the last two states of matter very clearly so if at all I have to talk about there are so many states of matter but if you talk about uh, the fundamental states of matter it's only solid liquid and gas